So in the front entryway of my garden, I planted some condor purple grapes vines. I planted two of them. So last spring, I got two condor grapes from one of the big box local um, stores in my area. I planted them here. They do require you to have two of them that intertwine with each other. I plant them here. Mine is roughly about eight feet apart, might be seven, which is the perfect um, spacing for Congor grapes. So this worked perfectly coming into my garden on the side of my home. But um, right now, because it's the winter time, they're in what you call dormancy stage. Now, even though we don't get snow here, and we really don't get that cold here, as you can tell, a lot of my um, stems still have green foliage on it. Uh, last week, we did have like three days of cold, which killed a lot of them. But they come right back during springtime. So it won't hurt for me to go ahead and trim these down just to give them a better head start for um, my springtime coming up here. So we're here, what, January 3rd. We might have one or two more cold days, but that will be it right here in zone 9B. So when I first purchased them last season, I did trim, trim them. And trimming, you got your main stem, and then you have the two, I want to call them mother stems, coming out of it. I have a couple of herbs down below. And then here's one stem and then you have the two main stems coming from this one now this one was a little lower than that one but i left it um it did have like four of each one up but i trimmed it down to just two taking in consideration the space that i have them at so what i'm gonna do and you can see the woody stems are the i want to call the old stems those will be the year old stems because like I said, I just planted this um, last spring. And if you come up here, you will see all the new green footage that's been growing. And I will swear that you can, you can trim these almost halfway down and they will still survive. But one, I don't like the way they look because of the cold damaged a lot of them. That is Irish Spring um, bar soap in that sock. I'm just gonna go ahead and trim them and get this cleaned up. I did use this fence because um, grapes are heavy, their stems are heavy, and they get even heavier, and they can last up to 30 years if you take care of them. So that means um, right before winter time, you clip them all the way down and they will grow back like crazy. You should see how they grow back. There is definitely a vine. <laughs> so I got this um, vinyl fencing from my local um, Walmart. And I put it here because one, like I said, I just started. I didn't get grapes last season and it does take two to three years to develop fruit for um, grapes. I'm hoping it will only take me two. I'm really hoping to have grapes this year, even though my first set of grapes, they do recommend me clip them off and don't let the first set grow so i'll do that i think that's just for um taste purposes the first set won't taste good or sweet which i'm fine with that not only that but it's right here entering my garden so when the footage is nice and green it does look very pretty on this fence and that kind of distracts me from waiting around for <laughs> my grapes to come in so and it gives me space if it gets too heavy or um, too full for this one vinyl. I have space at the bottom to add another um, pole or uh, chicken wire and connect the chicken wire here so that they can have more space. But this is just one season of growth, which I have been clipping them as they die back. But now I'm going to just go ahead and clip them very very low trying to only leave the main stems if I can 
so that I have a better chance when spring comes. So I decided to take you guys with me. These are my favorite clippers, by the way. I love them. But cutting my grapevine, I want to make sure I clean this. I do use it around my garden in general. So I'm just going to come through. I got a little um, Dawn dish soap and water. And I just want to come through and clean my prunes before I get started. So let's go. very nervous about this guys that right there is a sweet potato vine that is on the other side Okay, now that we clipped it, I went and got some twine and I'm just going to um, start training the branches I have left to the direction I kind of want them to start growing for the springtime. And I think I did it. I was kind of in my feelings clipping this because I kind of got these uh, fruit vines looking just like this in a little brown bag when I purchased them at the nursery. And I'm back to square one and to think I didn't get any fruit. But they're on their time. I'm going to give it to them. They got good soil. I have sandy soil, but I did treat my soil before I first put them down and I have fertilized them. So we're gonna hope for the best come springtime. And as I was clipping, you can tell that they're green. That's how you could tell. That's how you could tell if your plant fruit vegetable is still alive even though the stem is brown as long as it's green and the inside is still alive and i try to cut as an angle just in case we get any more growing them um i can't like i said i can't wait till i receive fruit but you should definitely try growing them Check that out. My grapevine. We are, what the day is? August 7th, 2023. This is my third year. If I'm not mistaken with her. I think this is my third year with her. she is producing doesn't she look gorgeous I'm trying to keep her from um, trailing the bottom I want to keep that clean down there because I have herbs and stuff that's growing down there so I want to keep that clean but springtime came and she sprouted out and now we're here and what late summer we are in late summer here show y'all some fruit i'm getting got some grapes 
one now. Ladybug. More grapes. They kind of hidden, but you can see the mash that I have covering them up so the birds don't get them from me. Some wasps flying around. But she is doing just beautiful. Let's check out the back end of her. So she has been producing pretty good. This is my first year getting um, grapes from her. So we probably harvest like one or two clusters so far. And as you can tell, I got two or three left on the vine ripening. So maybe next year I will just have abundance of harvest. But I was just so glad to know that she fruited for me. And she grew for me right here on my homemade um, trellis that I made for. So let's see what she looks like in the back. So you can see she's growing out there. I have to tuck her a little. The limbs stretching out. I have to go ahead and tuck them in. This is the back where I had that poster at. And I took it down because I knew once spring hit, she was going to start sprouting out. And I wanted to make sure she had enough space to crawl and airflow. So this is her from the back end. And I'll tuck her eventually, but it's not in the way right now, so I'm not too concerned with it. That's Central Florida growing Concord grapes right in my backyard. So I did have some aphids issues. I did have those, like I said before, and I sprayed with um, nemic oil. I had them at the very beginning of springtime here. And I sprayed with nemic oil. But other than that, I haven't had any other um, insect issues going on with my grapevine. You can do it, guys. You can grow you some grapes and they are sweet and they are good. They are small. Yes, they are small. And like I said, it could be because this is my first cycle of fruit that I'm getting from her. They are small, but they are sweet. Yes, they are. They are sweet and they are good. So, yep. Just wanted to show you guys. The grapes I'm growing, you do need two of the Concord grapes for it to produce fruit. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for more updates on what I grow right here in the city. And I will catch you guys on the next video. Enjoy the rest of you guys' day.